Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of The Hard Truth. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. You are the best. Well, we have explored so many different options for the Idaho 4 case. Who could have done it? Why would they do it? But it seems like we've explored every angle except Dylan and Bethany. The truth of the matter is two women could have committed this crime. And in the right circumstances, one woman could have done it. Let's have a look at Dylan and Bethany as potential suspects for the actual uh, murders, the Idaho Four murders. All right. Um, let's grab a nice cup of coffee, a hot cup of tea or a sweet tea as we begin our story. Most people think of women as vulnerable potential victims, but that's not necessarily always the case. The fact of the matter is women do kill. When I first heard about the Idaho 4 case, my first impression was that there was a serial killer and he had just gotten out of prison maybe and needed to relieve himself. But as I found out more about the case and realized there was no blood trail leading to or from the house, I just said inside job. And then when I started learning that Dylan and Bethany were on the first floor and then Bethany, no, Dylan was on the second floor. I'm like, you know what? What is this? How could they have been home when this happened? And that's where I want to start my research for this series where we're talking about if Dylan and Bethany did it. Everything in this series is pure speculation. We're going to explore the when the how and the why if DM and BF are the killers of the Idaho Four. The first assumption we have to make if Dylan and Bethany did it is that Ethan and Xana were unalived first. And the reason I say that, I know the PCA and Dylan's statement make it seem like uh, Brian Koberger came out of the room, Xana and Ethan's room, and left out of the kitchen door. And so, obviously, they would have to be the ones that were killed last. And so, what I'm saying is, first of all, Ethan and Xana and Maddie and Kaylee got home at different times. And so, I'm assuming that Ethan and Xana got home first. And this is when Dylan and Bethany had an opportunity to do Ethan and Xana first and then wait for Maddie and Kaylee to get home. And instead of think of a quadruple murder, could a female or two females have done this? When you think of just two people, all right, then it's a lot more plausible. And then later on, two more people, all right? And then it would make sense for Dylan to give a statement that, you know, provides a timeline that clears her and Bethany rather than implicates them. Does that make sense? So the first assumption is that Ethan and Xana were killed first. So when we talk about how, make Let's sure you have that the scene. Imagine this is November the 12th, 2022. A, this is an average night at 1122 King Road, except on that night, there was a big championship football game. So I expect everybody in the house to be out, out at the game and out and about afterwards, after parties, frat sorority, hanging out. 
I expect everybody to probably be intoxicated by midnight. Be honest with you, I mean, championship game, and then y'all lost, you know. So everybody's probably out and getting drunk, already drunk by midnight. And so if Dylan and Bethany did this, they probably weren't sober when they did it. God only knows how the idea came about because, I mean, wouldn't they be pretty much out of their minds along with everybody else? Unless this was planned well before this night and they weren't drinking. Maybe Dylan and Bethany were completely sober on November the 12th at the football game because they know they had something they were going to do. Okay, I know this sounds crazy, but we have to start out with a very wide lens and then come in and try to narrow things down. All right. And so, so far, I would have to say that whether they were drunk or sober, the only people that seem to use the front door is the police. So Zana and Ethan probably came home and used um, the back door, the kitchen door. All right, so let's go there. Okay, can you imagine Zana and Ethan walking home from the fraternity and DM and BF lying in wait to ambush them, uh, you know, already have the weapons ready and everything, just waiting for them to come in the house. Okay, can you imagine that? They have, they had to allow them, well, I was going to say, they have to allow them to go in their room because that's where they were found. But I've heard a lot of rumors about there being blood in the kitchen, Ethan being killed in the kitchen. I've, I've heard those things on back channels. And so I don't discount that as complete falsehood. I'm just saying. Or of course, maybe Ethan and Zana made it into the house. All right. And Bethany and Dylan had to find, you know, wait for an opportunity to actually commit the crimes or maybe something jumped off and they were just sitting around waiting for the chance to strike. Maybe they did make it inside the house. All right. What do you think about these two scenarios?